Hello and welcome to Banded Rose. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. Now, the goal here is that we have a bunch of transactions in an Excel worksheet and there's no formatting. And we want an easy way to apply Banded Rose formatting. We don't want to use VBA, we don't want to use Power Query, we don't want to use Manual, we just want a quick and easy way to do it. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this short video. Okay, so in Excel, these are our transactions. We want a quick way to apply Banded Row formatting. It's actually relatively easy. All we need to do is select any cell within this range and head to the home ribbon tab and here we see format as table and we can pick any type of formatting that we'd like let's just go ahead and pick this one for now Excel displays the create table dialog and we simply click OK and now what we see is one banded rows option but I want to quickly show all the different styles we can use here so first of all we head to the table design ribbon tab and here we have banded rows and we can toggle those on or off we can also choose this table styles drop down and view this gallery and we have tons of different options here so for example we could go with this one we could go with this one if we prefer and each of these styles has a banded rows option so for example if we click here we can turn banded rows on or off but the best part about this isn't that we get banded rows formatting instantly which is pretty cool but it's also that these transactions are now stored in a table and tables have many special properties and options so you're definitely going to want to explore them for example we can easily turn on a total row what's that well check it out we can scroll to the bottom and let's say we wanted to get the total of all of these transactions we don't even really need to write a formula all we need to do is check the total row checkbox and now we got it okay so depending on what you're working on storing your data in a table is going to be a great option it's going to provide many special properties and options and feel free to explore them on this table design ribbon tab hey Excel user if you ever need to create summary reports check out my pivot table for beginners video it starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. Hey, hopefully this helps. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 